This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. I'm working on their data tools unit. I'm in lesson 8 creating JavaScript objects and puzzle 12. Show contact image. The last piece of information to display for each contact is their image, which should be saved in an image URL property of each contact. Do this. Your code from the previous exercise is provided, but the main image is provided. The main image on your show contact screen has been has the i has the ID contact image. Add code to show current contact function that sets the URL of contact image to the image. Oh, this sounds so complicated. Image URL property of the contact being displayed. You can use the set image URL command. So they want us to grab the picture property and make it go here. And it, Kind of like when we grab text, right, get text, and we assign it using an ID. Now we're going to get the image URL and assign it using contact image, right? Contact image and set image URL. Got it. So we want to go down to our function here. And so now we're going to want to set the image. So we can grab that. And oh, it's right here. Not get set. All right, set. And then the ID is contact image. Now, what's the URL? Oh, we have it saved, right? It's saved up here as a property of our contacts. So here's this one. Here's this one. Oh, I'm supposed to put in some images. Hmm. I'll do that in a sec. Um, all right. So we want it saved to, or we want it to use contacts and then current index. And what's current index? Current index is a global variable. What else is a global variable? Our contacts array. They're way up here. If there, are, if a variable is outside of a function, it's declared outside of a function, it's created outside of a function, all functions in a program can access it and can change it. So we don't have to pass uh, current index as a parameter. We're just asking the computer, hey, grab that, whatever that index is, grab the contacts array, whatever is at one or two or zero, whatever index we are at, right? So get that object. So maybe we're at zero, so that would be our first person, contact one. And that's what will be returned. Okay, here's this object. Now what from that object do we want? Specifically, this is where we use dot notation. We want the image URL. Okay, let's give this a shot. But da And then I don't have other images, so that's going to be disappointing. Let me reset. Just to prove, though, that it works for all of these, I'm just going to grab this image and put it on all. Oh, my goodness. Copy. Because it won't matter what contact we're on, it's now going to update and show that contact's image. So they all should have the same one now. And now I'm going to hit the arrows. Left arrow, left arrow. Ba, ba, ba. Awesome. And so you can see how this is live updating, right? We're looping through, well, not looping, but we're going through, we're using an array and its indexes to hold a ton of information and make it fairly easy to navigate. It's a super useful thing to know how to do. So yeah, the tricky part of this one was definitely just that dot notation again with the contacts array. But we got it. Let's uh, keep going.